What is going on with Xbox and PlayStation? I think we need to discuss this. Because as a gamer, it is getting absolutely crazy. Let's dive into this. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. Um, I am very disappointed with Xbox. Now, I've been with Xbox for a very long time. I think I've been with Xbox longer than I've been with PlayStation. PlayStation, I have a PS5 and I have an Xbox. I have an Xbox One X. I never bought the series. Um, the series uh, I didn't purchase yet because it was very hard to find. And I could never find Xbox Series X. But this is uh, it's crazy how Xbox all of a sudden now wants to create drama against PlayStation. And I know they, they, they tend to go back and forth with the drama stuff. And I, and I totally understand that. Everyone wants to have exclusivity on what games they want to have on their system. And, and, and that's the whole part of the being competitive is having exclusivity to your system. CEO Nadell today, or I should I say yesterday, was up on the stand, witness stand, making a, his testimony on why he think Activision should merge with Microsoft. And his 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 thing was that he believes that exclusivity should be banished, should be gone, should be thrown away. And I'm like looking at him like, are you and Phil Spencer using drugs? Are you guys actually smoking? You, you, a couple, what, a month ago, Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer came on and said that exclusivity doesn't win console wars. It doesn't win uh, game battles. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Exclusivity doesn't help your your brand shine. Why, why wouldn't that? When you had Xbox 360 and you had a great run for that year because you kept PlayStation at bay with Halo, Mass Effect, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, those was your exclusivities to your Xbox brand. And that's what brought you up to the level that you was when 360 was doing good. So why in the hell would you want to say exclusivities are not what makes consoles or not what makes the brand shine? And now Nadell is saying it again, but then he's trying to say, we want to get rid of exclusivities on all consoles. Listen, Xbox, Phil Spencer, Nadell, get your head out your ass. Because without exclusivity, there won't be an Xbox. There won't be a PlayStation. It won't be a Nintendo. Take Nintendo, for instance. The exclusivities on their games, like, you know, Mario, like, you know, shit, what other games they got on there? I, I, I rarely play Nintendo, but, you know, you got so many games on there that they have specifically for Nintendo. And that's what makes them successful, is having that exclusivity. So for you to come out and say that exclusivity doesn't, you know, he's ashamed to be a part of the world of exclusivity. He thinks it should be 
done with, get rid of him. You know what, Nadell? You need to get rid of yourself. Phil Spencer needs to step down. Let's put somebody in charge to run Xbox better, get better games. Because let's 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 take the kid gloves off, okay? You want to get rid of all the exclusivity. Fine and dandy. But you have no games. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? You have no games. You failed on Halo. You failed on Gears of War. You failed on Redfall. The only game you have and you better hope it's a damn good one. It's Starfield. Starfield. You have to rely on Starfield. That is your only exclusivity game. That's your only exclusive. That's the only one you have that helps keep your Xbox on the ropes. So, if you get rid of exclusive, then what sense it is to keep Starfield on Xbox? Oh, 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 you didn't think we would learn about that one. You didn't think we would know that you bought Bethesda in spite of because you didn't want Starfield to be put on PlayStation. So, you ran out and bought Bethesda. Now who's the child? Who's the little kid now? Who is the one now that is being a bully? And, 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 and you know, like I said, I've been a gamer for a very long time. 1979 was my very first Atari 26 that I had when I was a kid. And I had every game console since then. I started, after having the very first consoles, I started with PCs. When it was just X's and O's. Playing football. X's and O's. Playing basketball. Handheld games was X's and O's. That's a very long time. And so, here it is, time has changed. We have done went through Nintendo, we have went through Playstations, we have went through Xboxes, we have went, went through Commodores, IBMs. We went through a lot of stages to get to where we are right now. And here it is, we have a bully what is now known as Xbox, who wants to minimize or get rid of a competition. You need the competition. Let me tell you. Good cannot exist without evil. Evil cannot exist without good. You take the same thing with Xbox and PlayStation. PlayStation cannot survive without Xbox. Xbox cannot survive without PlayStation. Want to know why? This is why. If PlayStation was the only dominant in the gaming industry, they would turn it to Disney. Because they would start dropping games Half-baked, incomplete, they wouldn't care because there's no competition. Let's take EA for example. EA dominated NFL. Why? Because they had a competition. Who was their competition? 2K. 2K was throwing out some good football games was given rival to EA. 
What did EA do? Oh, well, we're going to go to NFL. We're going to drop a whole bunch of money. Get the rights. So no one else can make football games. And then once they got the sole rights to make football, and they bought Madden, and they knew they had no other competition against them when it came to football, they start making shitty football games. Cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. That's all they was doing. Cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. Every single year. And then they got the nerve to sit there and say, Oh, we got something new. And we got something exciting. And it's the same mechanics, same shit that they did previous before that. That's why EA is failing. Xbox. Look at EA. Look at what they're doing. They lost the rights to Star Wars. Why? Because they kept worrying about microtransaction. You already paying, making people pay $70, but do you want to suck them dry by throwing in microtransaction and loot boxes and pay to win mechanics? Look how far they done, they done have fell down the rabbit hole. Time and time again, they have been shitting on their customers. But you know what? Xbox, you're not that far behind. You have done failed time after time after time again. Like I said, you don't... Let's give another example. You want to talk about exclusivity? You want to you want to throw uh, PlayStation under the bus and tell them that they are out there trying to buy exclusivity on all games? What did you do when Bungie had Halo? You drew them right out of the gaming industry. You had to make that company became its own entity when you had. A good thing with Halo. When you had Bungie made Halo a good Halo game. And you drove them out. But you told them, wait, 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 wait. If you leave, you got to let Halo stay. You can't take Halo because on the contract, Halo is ours. So you took the one best game that Bungie can make, told him to hit the bricks, kick rocks, but we're gonna keep the good stuff. We wanna keep the, we wanna keep Halo. And you ran that shit into the ground. You gave it to what, 342 Studios? And they ran that shit into the ground. But you, Xbox, has got the goal, the goal of the nerve to sit there and you want to bully PlayStation and try to drive them out of business so they can't have any games. You want to take the exclusivity away and say, well, if we buy up all the studios, what can PlayStation have? That is selfish, that is evil, and that's downright despicable. I agree with Foxy Games in UK says. I applaud him when he said he sold his Xbox Series X. Because see, I was gonna buy one. And I you know what? I didn't buy one because you have no freaking games. I still have my Xbox One X. I can still play the old Halo games. I can still play Bioshock 1 and 2. Hell, I can play all the Gears of, Gears of War. 
I don't need to have a Series X to play that. Because you have no games. And the games that you threw, throw, you threw, throw out, it's a piece of garbage. It's crap. And then you want to raise the price to your consoles. You want to raise the price of Xbox Series X. And there's not even one out there that people can buy yet. But you want to raise the price. But you want to raise the price on a console that doesn't even have any games. I can see Sony raising their price. Why? Look at the lineup of games they got. Look at the lineup of games that's coming out. Yeah, they slapped you in the face with Spider-Man. You had the opportunity to have Spider-Man when Insomniac came to you for the first time. Before they went to Sony. They came to you and pitched to you about Spider-Man. And what did you do? Uh, we don't think Spider-Man. Uh, we don't want that. We don't, we don't want to touch that. And now that the game has become so successful, now you want to sit there and pitch a bitch. Now you want to sit there and cry and whine and kick rocks. And then you want to go with damn PlayStation and get all the good games to get all the good stuff and hate PlayStation. I hate them. And that's what you do. You're like a locust that consumes and destroy. You buy in all these studios and you've got not one of them that can produce you a game. But what you do is you, you buy them and you let them rot until they exist no more. Damn. Who did that remind me of? Oh, right back to the circle. Hey, EA. How many studios the EA bought and ran them into the ground? You are doing the same dang thing. I I, I, I I totally don't get it. And then you want to go and buy Bethesda to stop them from getting Starfield. Are you serious? Jim Ryan didn't go to Bethesda and say, hey, I'll give you a book amount of money if you let us have Starfield exclusive. They was like, eh, you can have that. You can have it. That's the only thing that you can rely on, Xbox. You can have that. Because you have no games. And like I said, you better hope Starfield comes out good. Because if, it, if Bethesda doesn't live up to its responsibility and do what they say this game is going to do and become another no man's sky you're screwed you're fucked you're done so what are you going to do you're going to do like you always do you're going to buy up all these studios your sole purpose is to buy Activision for what reason? To stop PlayStation for even acquiring Call of Duty? Call of Duty is a freaking mess. It's a mess. It's not even living up to its responsibility as it was when it first entered the gaming industry. Activision Blizzard, they all are Failing. You're buying a failing studio. And you proud of that? You're dropping billions of dollars on a studio that can't even produce any games anymore? And you proud of that? Xbox fans. I know, I'm, I know this video is going to get shitted on because I'm shitting on Xbox. And I'll get to PlayStation because PlayStation, they, 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 they don't get a free pass neither. They in hot water just as much as what Xbox is. Maybe not as deep as Xbox, but they in hot water too. You guys are sitting there 
shitting on PlayStation. Talking bad about PlayStation. But I bet you guys have a PC at home too. I bet you guys play PC games. And the only thing, the only one game, I bet you guys want to play on Xbox is Spider-Man. How many of you guys right now are playing Final Fantasy 16? How many of you? It's on PlayStation, right? It used to be an Xbox, but now it's on PlayStation. And you guys are like, Goddamn PlayStation and buying Final Fantasy 16. I can't stand them. But now it's on PlayStation and doing well. They brought back Dead Space Remake, doing well. Of course, we know about Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2. We got sick and tired of them keep making it over and over and over, but it's doing well. Hell, they even bring it back Sonic. How old is freaking Sonic? Sonic's got to be like 100 years old. And that game is still doing well. They have Major League Baseball on PlayStation. What do you have, Xbox? What baseball game do you have? Not doing too well with FIFA, neither. Oh, wait. That's EA's game. That's EA's baby. And that's failing, too. So, Xbox, you want to keep buying up failing studios? Why don't you buy EA? Since you're on the roll with buying failing studios, why don't you just go ahead and buy EA? See how far you get with that puppy. Since you like to drop so much money, we know you got deep pockets. Might as well just go ahead and buy EA. Hell, maybe you can help EA out. Because, see, it doesn't matter what you do. PlayStation creates studios. Or they buy people who are creating studios who are low budget but make great games. You buy these high, high budget studios and not making great games. You are failing miserably. Instead of Phil Spencer coming out saying, yeah, we, we've been defeated. Instead of you guys going out, spending all this money buying studios, why don't you utilize that money that you guys got the deep pockets for and create some good games. Create some great games. Stop putting out games that's half-baked. That got millions of bugs in it. <laughs> Redfall. Oh my God. Have we ever learned? Look at No Man's Sky. A travesty when it first came out. Bugs, glitches. You flying in space with no life. Because they didn't add it in the game. And you're repeating the same doom over and over. You would think that if you look back on history, you try not to repeat the same mistakes again. But no. You just, just want to destroy a competition. You need PlayStation. PlayStation needs you. Without either one of you, there is no gaming industry. Because if you became the sole dom dominant in the gaming industry and if PlayStation fell, you will become the new EA. Will you be throwing out shitty ass games? 
bugs and glitches. And you'd be pissing your fans off to where they would take the Xbox Series X or whatever new Xbox game console that's coming out in the next 6 to 10 years from now. And they would toss that thing out the window. You need PlayStation. PlayStation needs you. Nintendo needs the both of you. That's the whole thing about competition. It's not to have people at each other's throats. It's not to have people want to fight each other over who's the best console. But it's to make people enjoy entertainment. That's what these games are made for, people. Entertainment. Now the PS5. Jim Ryan. Why in the hell are you making a slim that's digital, but then you have the option to spend more money to add a CD-ROM in it if you want to add to it? Why don't you just leave the design the way it is? Stop confusing your consumers. It makes no sense to have another PlayStation Slim that just starts out as a digital. And then you want them to pay, what, another $200 if they want a CD-ROM with it? That makes no sense. You're just milking the people. Concentrate on more games. More games for, like, your PSVR 2. You rarely have any games on the PSVR 2. If you want to step into the realm of VR, give them some games. Not the half stuff or just the three-hour gameplay like MetaQuest is doing. Give them full, complete games. Emerge these people into games. If you want to step into the VR world, emerge them. Entertain them. Wow them. But stop it with these little side gimmicks. Stop it. You got the, what, the Q that's coming out? That's supposed to be a, a handheld game, but it's not even handheld because you got to pair it with the PS5. So whatever the PS5, whatever's on the PS5 is what you can play on the handheld. Look at your PSP. It did well for a reason. You know the old saying, don't fix what is not broken. The PSP was doing well. Why don't you go back to that? Go back to doing that and lower your prices. Because you're milking your consumers. Your, 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 your video games are already 70 bucks. PlayStation is going to pretty soon going to have people say, you know what? I can't, I can't deal with this no more. You guys are too expensive. Between you and Xbox is want to raise your prices. It's, it's too much. You're going to force people to go ahead and buy PCs. And just start downloading game from Steam. Steam is going to be the competitor competitor between the both of y'all. If they are, if they haven't already been at that, it's coming. Because you're going to force people to go right back to PC. Because they're not going to be able to afford all this mess. If you really look at it, the amount of money they pay for a console. PSVR and the Q, you could have built a PC. Hell, I got a PC right now that can compete with both of you guys' specs on your consoles. And, I am, and I'm able to run at 8K resolution. Speaking of resolution, Xbox and PlayStation, 
You guys are both saying your consoles are the most powerful con Well, Xbox says their console is the most powerful console in the industry. And PlayStation is like on the box. We could run 4K games at 60 frames per second. But you guys aren't doing it. Name me one game that runs at 4K at 60 frames per second. I'll wait. Still waiting. Don't have any, huh? You got brand new games is coming out that is playing at 30 frames per second. What the hell's going on? These are supposed to be the next gen consoles. Why are we still doing 30 frames per second? Why are we not utilizing the power these consoles can do and run them at 60 frames per second? What's going on? I don't understand what's going on here. Are we not letting the studios or the publishers utilize the tools that you have before them to say, hey, we want you guys to make great games. We want you to make exciting games. Let's run them at 60 frames per second. Why are we still doing 30? We are not on PS4. We are not on Xbox One X. We are running PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. What's, what's, what's going on? But then again, we want to raise prices. We want to raise prices on games that can't even, on consoles that is, are supposed to be able to run at 60 frames per second in the 4K, but we don't even have any games that can be able to do that. I, 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 I'm dumbfounded. I'm flabbergasted, dumb fine. I'm stupid. I give you more money on a console that can't even produce 60 frames per second. But my PC can. My PC can run games at 60, 60 frames per second. I can adjust, tweak, maneuver, and get it to run 4K, 60 frames per second. Now, why is that? You, you, both of you guys, Jim Ryan, Phil Smith, you explain that to me. Why should we give you more money for a game for consoles that are able to run at 60 frames per second and are not doing it? Why? Why should we give you more money? Explain that to me. Especially the Xbox. You have no games. You have no exclusivity. You can't make great games. And you cannot even make games to run at 60 frames per second. So you need to stop with the greatest, most powerful console in the game industry. Because it's not. It's a brick. It's just a big black brick that the system collect dust and don't do what it says it's supposed to do. You sit there, Phil, and you pitched it out. When Xbox Series X come out, this is the Xbox Series X, and it's gonna be the twelve tower flops. It's gonna be the most powerful gaming key, uh, PC in the game, uh, gaming console in the gaming industry. But we yet have seen sixty frames per second. PlayStation, you don't get a pass neither. We have yet seen a game. At 60 frames per second. And if they are. It's very slim. Because if you benchmark some of the games. That are trying to put out 60 frames per second. It fluctuate up and down. Not steady flow. But fluctuate. So yeah. So my last final thought. Xbox, stop being a bully. 
Xbox fans, stop being a bully. Realize, look, and listen. Your Xbox is failing. Phil Spencer has numerously slapped you in the face. And then sat there and told you that they lose in a console war. And then his CEO just came into the courtroom and said that he wants to get rid of exclusivities on all brands. How are you going to get rid of that when you're buying up all the studios? Stop buying studios. Stop wasting your money buying studios because you don't want PlayStation to have any games. Stop. And just make good games. Look at your 360 era. And what you did. Fall on that. Fall on that. And maybe you can come out of this mess. And give PlayStation a run for their money. But you need to stop with the game. You need to stop. Because you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. And you're hurting the fans that admires your product. Because it's like Foxy Game did. You're going to have many others. That's just going to sell the Xbox Series X. And just throw it out the window. And then what you gonna do? Because if you messed up on the consoles, what do you think you're gonna do on Microsoft? When you go on Microsoft selling games and you're selling half-baked games and you're selling incomplete games and you're selling games that got glitches and bugs and it just servers don't work. People's going to go. And they're going to go right to Steam. And Steam will be the competitor. And maybe they can give PlayStation a run for their money. Come to think of it. Pfft. Let Steam become the competitor. We really don't need Xbox. Because obviously... Xbox don't need us. So everyone, please feel free to comment on everything that I said in this video. Do you do you agree that Xbox is becoming a bully? Do you believe that raising the price is the right thing for Xbox even though they have no games? What do, how do you feel about them buying Bethesda just to stop them from getting Starfield? You guys, talk to me in the comments below. I like to know your voice. I like to know your opinion. I like to know what you feel about this. PlayStation gamers too, as well. How did you feel? How do you feel about the PSVR 2? How do you feel about the queue that's coming out? Stupid handheld thing. And how do you feel about them raising the prices on PlayStation 5 on digital and then making you spend additional more money to buy a CD-ROM drive if you want to add to it? It's, it's, to me, it's dumbfounded. It's stupid. But I want to hear from you. Please, everyone, let's talk about this. And we're going to talk about this for the next couple of days because, you know, I'm sick and tired of this Activision Blizzard merger for Xbox. I don't think Xbox should get it. I don't think so. And I think they should just leave the company alone because all they're going to do is soil it into the ground. They're going to kill that company as if they're not already killing themselves anyway. Because they can't put out great games anymore. What do you think? Post your comment down. Down below. 
If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell for every time I bring out a video. And oh my gosh, this roller coaster ride with this gaming industry. I wish it was back in the days when people played games and enjoyed the entertainment. Check you guys out later. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.